Needing positivity all around you Made me life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds And try to tear you down Why they want to tear me down? Capricorn! <laughs> hey boo hey, what's poppin'? Did you miss me? I said, I said, I said, I said, I said Capricorn. Are you guys in this space of knowing that you need to make a decision regarding external distractions in your world? You're needing to set boundaries. I feel a lot of crab in a barrel ass fucking energy with my Capricorns in your external. Are you guys recognizing this shit as we exit out of fucking November and roll into magical ass Sagittarius season December? Hmm. Are you guys accessing? Are you guys, um, I'm sorry, I said accessing. Are you guys literally weighing out the pros and the cons of some shit? What you got to lose, Capricorn? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, hey, boo, hey. If this is your first time on my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, I cuss or whatever, okay? May cuss a little bit, may cuss a lot. I don't know. But I'm going to cuss, alright? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free right down now, okay? To go find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. This is how we do it, alright? Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the donations, you guys, the readings, the support. Thank you from the most humblest space ever. And thank you guys for not losing your shit with me when it came to, uh, to being patient with those November readings. No, I did not forget about you. I've just learned for once in my damn life, honey, to make a plant Capricorn. I'm stepping into y'all mother energy. My Saturn is Capricorn. So I'm learning, okay, how to get more practical about things. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. But if I am not happy and fulfilled, what do I have to lose? Also, a proper plan, okay? Builds a hell of a motherfucking foundation for something to stand on. Be sturdy and build wealth. Okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys can feel me with being in that space for the month of late November into December. Okay? Um, if you need a personal reading, that information will be found below within the description. If you are a new subscriber, hey, boo, hey, welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional. Okay? We don't fight and fuss, however. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we cuss. We share, we grow, we love, we enlighten, we evolve. Positive vibes only, positive type teams. We one big happy family over here, okay? Um, it ain't finna resonate with every damn Capricorn. What the hell I'm finna say? You guys take what does, leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, yeah, it's gonna fall. Period. Okay? So let's jump into it. Capricorn, okay? Uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, the North Node, as well as Jupiter, okay? So let's get into it, Capricorn. We're going to start with your intuitive messages, Cappies, Cappies, Cappies. When I was meditating on your energy, I'm going to be honest. For the last two days, I have been hella distracted when it came to getting actually getting to your reading, okay? I do feel that some of you all, someone is noticing your glow up. Someone's noticing the difference in you, okay? I did pick up on a, a lot of heavy family energy. I'm also picking up on um, someone breaking breaking, breaking traditional cycles, okay? So somebody could have broke bad, did they own damn thing for Thanksgiving. They ain't want to go eat that old nasty-ass, mustard-ass fucking potato salad. They ain't want to go eat that old dry-ass ham. Spam, no turkey, no ham, no thank you, ma'am. I'm going to cook my own shit, okay? Um, I did feel the energy of someone needing to know, okay? Kathy, some of you guys could be very focused or very worried about your children. There is a lot of, um, a lot of harbored, harbored emotions, a lot of traumas coming to the surface. I feel like for some of you all, you're dealing with situations where people are just refusing to take accountability for their actions and you're getting ready to have to make a damn decision when it comes to keeping your damn peace intact, okay? Holding your integrity and really moving moving on this sense of this, I'm hearing the moral code, okay? This could be you or another person, okay? But I am picking up on the energy of some of you guys could be worried about your children or there could be a sense of guilt or regret for the time not spent with children. Some of you all are needing to balance work and family. 
and I feel like that's going to be a big focus as we go into December. I am hearing unexpected expense and I am hearing health and reoccurring, okay? So some of you guys could be fearful of something reoccurring when it comes to your health. I am hearing acute, not chronic. So I do feel that something is not here to stay, but it is here to test your resolve when it comes to faith, not fear, okay? I feel this element of spirit, God, the most high, the universe, whatever it is that you believe in, I definitely feel like your ancestors, there's a lot of show up and show out as energy Capricorn, but I feel like it's really going to, you, you're going to get to this space by doing something that you're afraid of doing. And for some of you all, it's simply just letting go and allowing God to take the wheel, letting go. And just allowing the pieces to fall where the fuck they may. Because I do feel that anything that is falling apart, some of y'all are holding on. Like, like, like you really holding on. It's, it's like you're holding on to something that I feel like the structure is falling away. The love is falling away. It's undeniable. But I feel like there's a sense of complacency around security in a situation. Or the security with, with having someone there. I'm also hearing someone needing... Someone needing their 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 arrogance, their damn ignorance, or their ego um, validated at all times, and it's very draining. Okay, I feel like someone, some of y'all have great ideas, but you feel as if you're sleeping with the damn enemy. You can't even tell your partner what the hell you're building because this person want to talk about they fucking self. And I feel like this individual, they feel as if you, they feel as if you're bigger than them, Cappy. Or this could be your ass. Y'all, y'all wear the motherfucking shoes when they fit now, okay? Because this is the hey, y'all know how we give it up over here. We honest, okay? But I do feel that there's this energy of someone trying to project their feelings. Their, and, and I feel like whoever this is, I am hearing mental issues. So this could be something that is like psychological or generational, okay? A lot of um, Uranian energy. So some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a Taurus. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? But I feel like someone fucks their own shit up. It's like they, they can have great ideas. I feel like this person is rich in resources when it comes to the things in which they, 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 they wish to manifest. But this person... This motherfucker know how to just, they can talk, they can, it, it, how to, it, 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 what, what, y'all, y'all know I'm goofy, but if fuck your own shit up was a person, okay, this motherfucker would have its, their own logo, okay, I do feel like some of you all are in this space of just really, really, really connecting with self, I feel this energy of the desire to connect and share your gifts but this sense of procrastination in order to do so. I feel like some of you all are, have been or you're realizing that you've been making excuses around other people's bullshit as to why you couldn't accomplish your goals and your dreams and your aspirations. It's not your responsibility to take care of no damn body else. They got a mama, Cappy. They got a damn daddy. Okay? Billy Jean ain't your motherfuckers. That's not your kid. Alright? I feel the energy of some of you all needing to speak up. Especially when it comes to you walking into your purpose and just accepting that as you continue to grow new levels, new devils, baby, you outgrow certain situations, certain people. I'm also picking up on the energy of some of the guys walking on eggshells to avoid a conversation when it comes to co-parenting, when it comes to someone packing their own weight, when it comes to how you genuinely feel. I feel like there's a com uh, there's communication and I feel like this has to do with someone looking for either you or you looking for someone else to take accountability but I feel like an apology just goes all fucking left in the month of December, okay? And I feel like this is happening for some of you all. It's like thrusting you forward to accept what is like what your ancestors, what spirit has been showing you just no longer works. But whatever it is that you're letting go, it's making room for this new energy that wants to come in. This new integrated energy. I'm also picking up on the element of um, like the integration of like um, your masculine and your feminine. This feels like a sense of a, like a marrying of souls, okay? You got me up at 2 in the damn morning, Capricorn. It's going to be a raid. Shit. Let's get into the channel messages that I actually wrote down because y'all had me get my gears going, okay? The two songs that I channel for you guys for the month of December, Cappy's. Um, it was her. Um, it's called I Won't. It's you can make me love you if I want. You can make me love you if I don't. You can't change my heart. You're trying too hard. You can make me love you if I want. I won't. Okay. So some of you all have a, star a little stalker eh, on your fucking head. Someone feels, um, I am hearing sexual healing, which brings me to my second song. 
Cause somebody, somebody got a misperception. You was going out trying to have you a little fun. Go out and mingle. Try something different. You know, when that one night stand asking you your ring size and shit. This motherfucker stealing your panties and shit. Cause I definitely felt the energy. Some of y'all got somebody that's crazy, crazy, and you ignoring the red flags. But what the fuck they gotta do? Put their underwear on their head and you know, hang out the motherfucking window on in the interstate, baby. Listen, crazy, crazy. Okay, I am hearing mental issues, psychological issues. For some of you all, someone is literally projecting their mother issues on you through their lack thereof. I feel like someone expects for you to do it. If I can't get it together, fuck it. It's okay. Fucking Capricorn's going to fucking do it. Fuck no. Fuck no. Oh, oh, oh. The month of December, okay? Not the hang gang. Okay? Not the chain gang. And damn show, now look crazy. Be careful when it comes to making investments, Capricorn, because I definitely felt the energy of somebody running that show ass talking about some rental spoons. And you bet not invest in them damn rental. I can't tell you what to do, okay? This is not a dictatorship. Let me get my shit together because I got to leave a rising. Let Aries come out some time to play. But I bet your ass better not invest in them damn rental spoons. Somebody is trying to beware of scam artists, okay? Second song, Sexual Healing, okay? You guys, I channeled for you guys, Youngberg featuring Kasha, old school. It's called Give You the Binet. Freak in the morning, freak in the evening. Just call me up and I'll be there when you need me. Whenever you want me, you can come and see me. Cause you know just what to do. You give me the business. Okay, so some of y'all got a late night creep who wants to be seen in the daytime. They want to leave a toothbrush at your motherfucking house. What you gonna do, Capricorn, when they come for you? Leave that shit in the comments. I won't know. I'm nosy. Okay. But you guys, intuitive messages. You guys, I got plot twists. Spiritually protected. Binds broken. Letting go. Perspective. I'm sorry. Perspective shift. Thief. Vandalism. <laughs> Riding past your home. Lawyer up. Exposure. Restraining order. Updates. Business expansion. Lineage cycles, self-expression, childhood trauma, soul ties, sacral chakra, obsession, miracle child, unexpected expense, holistic healer, subconscious realizations, drive safely, rapid manifestations, practitioner, lovers and friends, yeah, yes, honey, new love, contract negotiations, triggered, Emotional uh, emotional manipulation, new home, boundaries with money, codependency, regret, pre I'm sorry, spiritual inheritance, family interference, heart chakra, paperwork, hacking, investments, divination, scam artists, spell work, two face, karmic blessings, okay? So beautiful energy overall for the month of December, Cappies, okay? I definitely, again, don't y'all muck. can't tell you what not to do. The room spoons, y'all meet cold in real life. Just look at another person, okay? You never watch Martin Lawrence? Go Google that shit. Netflix it. Uh, it be on Bounce TV. I ain't always had cable, okay? I used to want to be a baller. You know what I mean? shit. Let's get it. Okay, so we're going to do your uh, crystal oracle message. What crystals will be useful to my Cappies? What crystal will be of use to my Capricorns for the month of December, or late November into December? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watcher, Jupiter in the North Node. My cap is, you want to jump over, okay? Rhodazite, okay? I literally heard, as soon as I flipped that crystal over, I had I heard astral travel, ancestral protection. I also heard past life regression, okay? So some of you all are very, very, in, in, in a very esoteric space. There's a lot of crown chakra activities when I'm also picking up on. Y'all know we don't officially chop and screw these damn oracle messages. We read them as is, okay? Mighty power. All right, roll this light, honey. 43. You guys, also, I am picking up on, some of you guys may be wanting to learn about the occult. I'm also picking up on you guys juggling when it comes to your belief system. There's a sense of like, Going back and forth with yourself or beating your damn self up trying to please other people when those traditions no longer work for you There's a need for you to step in your own damn power cappies, okay? So you guys got mighty power Zengi Rhodazite is excellent for removing blockages and for adding vitality to the physical body 
It cleanses, activates, and powers up all the chakras and harmonizes the etheric bodies. This crystal encourages the flow of kundalini energy to all the cells and the spaces between. For self-understanding, karmic imprints from your past lives or emotional wounds from early in your present life may be creating a state of psychosomatic dis-ease. Your own negative or compulsive thought patterns also play a part as can those of other peoples directed towards you. For divination, check out the harmony or lack thereof in your environment. Earth energies may be disrupting your well-being. The ground around your workplace and your home may need healing and stabilizing by planting suitable crystals in the earth. For healing insight, living in a healthy, stable environment creates a stable physical body. The frequency of this stone is earthy and high. Good for the earth star, solar plexus chakra, as well as casual vertex. Um, also, the timing of this stone is in the autumn right now, okay? Uh, those with the soul path of healing the earth, okay? So, I definitely felt this very transformative energy. We're going to leave this out for my Kathy's, my baby, because we're going to crown reading with your crystal, okay? Um, I definitely also, I'm also picking up on a lot of access to the Akashic, Kathy. Some of you all could actually be, um, your dreams or your subconscious space could be very powerful. I feel like some of you guys are receiving, like, massive downloads and this could have to do like some of you guys are seeing what things are going to be like in the like 2021 in the autumn season but i feel like you're being called or you're being intuitively guided to prep for it now there's this energy also of um some of you are also ancestry i'm picking up on a feminine energy some of you guys could be um some of you guys could be really 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 missing or looking I'm hearing obsessing over connecting with the feminine energy. This feminine energy could have passed over. This could be a mother or a grandmother. But I feel like some of you guys feel as if you didn't get the closure in which you needed to connect. Like when it comes to, you didn't get the closure with this person. I feel like this person could have passed away like unexpected or you feel as if you couldn't be there or you restricted from being there. This could be someone who's another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This could also be someone with a uh, fire element, um, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, okay? Uh, like, some of you are also, I'm picking up on, like, the holiday season. Like, the holiday season can be very traumatic. You could have lost someone during this time, all right? So, we're going to get a soul lessons journey. Um, two cards from my Cappies. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cause Watchers, North, and North, Jupiter. Okay, you guys got success. I am here in procrastination. Again, a lot of imbalances within the sacral chakra, but I feel like that's going to be, like, rectified or chronically rectified. I feel like this has to do with you guys disconnecting from some type of energy vampire, like a vampire is, like an energy vampire, okay? I feel like someone, someone drains you. This could even be, I'm hearing through sex, okay? Some of you guys, y'all got that magical ass yummy, okay? You can't be giving that yummy up, you know, when you got shit to do, because you might, you know, you might not have the energy to, you know, do what you got to do. I'm also hearing succubus, incubus. Some of y'all need to be careful with who the fuck you reconcile with, because somebody got a little extra they got a little extra up in it, up in it, up in them pants, up in those jeans. It's a lot of toxic shit, okay? Now, you do what you want to do. I ain't your mammy, okay? You ain't they mammy neither. Just saying. Um, I am picking up on some of you guys could be discovering that someone has, is like, that somebody got, some, I'm hearing double life. Like, somebody's living a double life. I feel like someone's afraid of being judged for liking the same sex, Cappy. This person could definitely, they're giving me air sign vibes, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, also fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys intuitively, some of y'all could have actually dreamt something and I feel like you're waiting for this to come into fruition. But I feel like you play a major part in how this comes into fruition. It takes you to make a bold and major step for somebody to show their ass and show you who the hell they are and make this whole let go part easy. You just got to do your part and spirit is going to co-create with you to do the, do, do the rest. You got to believe, okay? You guys got success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Okay? I know that there is no greater goal than to love. I feel like shifting your perspective, instead of seeing a situation as a loss, I feel like for some of you all, you're you're being thrusted through a loss. Like this loss is really on the cool. Just flip this ill into a lesson because I feel like this is like a catalytic situation to like thrust you into your purpose. I am seeing a portal, okay? So some of you guys, this could also do, some of y'all could be learning how to open portals or close portals to somebody attached to crazy, crazy, trying to do magic on your ass, okay? Some of y'all realizing that that crazy was, you understand why they so damn crazy? Because somebody had some had a hidden face you ain't know about that will be showing itself in this season, okay? 
pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone, okay? But some of you all, I'm also hearing, some of you all are resisting letting go of a situation because this, this relationship or this circumstance, this job, um, however it pertains to you, it could have been long standing, okay? I feel like somebody's afraid of being seen as a failure or being seen or being judged for like, um, I feel like someone's in a marriage, but they dealing with a fucking cheater. Like somebody, this even feels amicable. Like somebody had you sign a contract or like somebody, there was some type of like agreement around cheating, but that's no longer working for you, Cappy. I feel like or it's no longer working for somebody who y'all dealing with. All right, so let's dig into it. Capricorn, late November into December. All right, yeah, some of you guys could definitely be dealing with an um, Aries, Gemini, Virgo, um, Scorpio. This could also be someone who's an Aquarius. I feel like some of you guys... Some of you guys, this could also have to do with practitioning, okay? You wanted to go, some of y'all want to start a, a tarot channel. Some of you guys are really getting heavily into um, a coaching things. I'm also hearing alchemy, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all, some you got a fire sign. Or you could be, somebody's working some damn love spells on a fire sign to bring a fire sign back. And I feel like it's working, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of you actually, you're here to transmute, innovate, and cultivate. You're a leader, my baby. It's not meant for you to work no damn job. This is the discomfort that you're going to be feeling sitting at that damn job knowing you ain't doing what you're supposed to do in the month of December. I feel like you have a calling. And spirit is really making it real hard for your ass to breathe. I feel like there's a fire in your belly. And I feel like there's going to have to be, I, I, it looks like there's some type of action that's being taken baby to accommodate that fire that's going to bring blessings into your life okay for some of you all also i feel like whatever it is that you weren't able to see some of you all feel as if you were missing a piece of the puzzle this is going i'm hearing fall at your feet okay so some of y'all this could definitely be involving a leo taurus uh scorpio and aquarius or sagittarius i feel like you talk to somebody i feel like there's a sense of someone leaving you hanging some of you all feel as if if it, it feels as if if it's even worth it continuing to invest in this situation for some of y'all this is how this damn leo feels towards you someone sees you sees you as very manipulative and all that you care about is money or this is how you're seeing this person okay i feel like someone feels as if they have to protect themselves or walk on eggshells this could be how you're feeling towards another earth sign capricorn towards virgo but i feel like you're indecisive on I feel like there's this shifty energy. Should I stay? Should I go? <laughs> he loves me. He loves me not. All right. Um, but I feel this energy of, you know, there's a lot of love in the situation. For some of you all, this could be someone who you share children with. All right. For others of you, I feel like you're on the brink of, <clears throat> spirit is needing you to make a decision. And I feel like some of you all are using finances or the way some type of like, financial resource to avoid making a damn decision or actually honoring your emotions and I am picking up on the energy of like this being some type of like ending of a cycle like you actually choosing from choosing with an open heart like following your heart to whatever it is it guiding you to because I'm gonna tell you what the fuck you what I see over here you holding your own damn self up Waiting for a motherfucker to change who that shows you who the fuck they are. Whoever this fire energy is. I'm also hearing uh, someone not standing up for you. Some of you all feel as if your partner is not present for you as they should be as it pertains to family interference. And you're tired of that shit. I'm also picking up on someone, there being an altercation in, the, in, in, in like the early half of December. I feel like someone is in the wrong damn business when it comes to family matters. This could have to do with the mother and a child or father and a child. This feels like it's like someone giving their children children or their child an ultimatum or making someone feel guilty behind what they've done. But I feel like what they've done, what they did or what they helped would have its own motives when it comes to this could be you, okay? What they did or what has been done had its own motives when it came to keeping someone stuck or keeping someone from moving forward or making someone feel bad about being successful, okay? Um, but y'all, I see a big-ass cup and a big-ass coin here, okay? Some of you all have a new beginning with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? I'm also picking up on this individual wanted to know if it's safe. I feel like someone is getting rid of baggage, or someone is like being like some some of you all like you know your damn blessing is on the way but I feel like spirit is holding this blessing up and I feel like the reason why spirit is holding this blessing up I feel like spirit is protecting you from your damn self some of you all are emotional spenders you have a goal you have a project that you want to work on but I feel like there's this sense of putting the project off but continuously digging in the damn money that you're supposed to be using to invest in, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of some of y'all could be finding out some type of deception around money. There could be deception around um, 
money. I'm hearing money and fraternity, okay? So somebody could be finding out that somebody played them. Billy Jean was reading that thing, motherfucking kid, all right? But I feel like it's a blessing in disguise because this individual, whoever this is, this person's intention was to come and like tear, tear your foundations down. Especially if you're involved with someone whose spirit is urging you to leave. I feel like shit had to hit the fan in order to force somebody out the damn door so that you can heal, okay? I'm also picking up on someone wants to, so, okay, Capricorn, some of y'all could have ghosted somebody. Somebody wants to reconnect with another individual. Be careful. Be weary of um, reconnecting with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like someone who could have been very prideful towards you in the past. This individual ain't fucking changed. They need a, they need a place to stay, okay? Um, I'm, I'm picking up on someone like running to you with a whole bunch of like karmic debt. And Capricorn is just not here for it, motherfucker. I told you back then your ways was going to get you in a fucked up ass body and you ain't shit. I feel like someone's also forcing someone to, to, to respect their boundaries by speaking their truth and completely removing themselves from a situation. It's like your ass going to change or I don't know you no more type shit. All right. Uh, yeah. Some of you all could be finding out about a third party situation possibly involving an Aries, okay? Uh, some of you all could also, there could be some heart-wrenching um, truth that comes out when it comes to the paternity of a child. I'm also picking up on uh, the energy of unexpected guests, okay? Someone also, somebody could be finding out that someone has been hiding the fact that someone has like, there's a lot of conflict with fire in the month of December, Capricorn. For some of you all, I feel like you have a new love that could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but you got another damn earth sign or air sign that wants to come and stir up some shit, okay? For some of you all, you're dealing with an air sign that's a fucking cheetah, all right? And I feel like this person been a cheetah for a long time, but I feel like some shit's getting ready to hit the damn fan from a long, long time ago, okay? This could be within the last 10 to 12 years, okay? For some of you all, I'm hearing 18, all right? For some of you all, I'm hearing five. Others of you, I'm hearing two months, okay? Some of y'all, a situation is fresh fresh and you're getting ready to you're getting ready to like your intuition is going to be confirmed on why it is that you can't you, you you can't quite put your hands on why you don't trust this motherfucker but i feel like somebody getting ready to show you who they are all right but other than you i feel like if you're dealing with a pisces some of you guys could be choosing to walk away from a pisces or a pisces walk away from you i feel like whatever here is being illuminated again is setting your ass up in a situation that was love for, for Coming from a situation that was loveless, all right, to give you the space in which you need to create. For some of you all, I am hearing beauty. I'm hearing fashion, okay? Some of you guys, I'm hearing contracts. I'm also hearing collaboration and events. I'm also picking up on someone is beating themselves up about being pregnant. So like somebody here is pregnant and they don't view the baby as a blessing. You are literally birthing a prophetic child. This child is a star seed. This child is going to be very wealthy this child is meant to come and reset reset your the foundation as far as wealth within your lineage okay i feel like this is going to be exposed to you in your dream space as well but y'all got big ass cups and big ass coins and i feel like your own damn pride is standing in your own fucking way when it comes to waiting for a motherfucker to change when spirit is saying no gina damn gina it's time to fucking go Stop standing your way. For some of you all, there's a Leo that is done waiting for you to get your shit together. You done waiting on this fucking Leo to get their shit together. I feel like for some of you all, some of y'all gonna be finding out that a damn Pisces. If you're dealing with a Pisces, some of you all, this 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 person, there could be someone coming back from this Pisces past, or someone trying to manipulate the ending of a situation when it comes to them. Someone, someone could be also like some of y'all could be finding out that somebody's lying lying about going to work. I feel like some of y'all are into, have intuitively been feeling to make it like a pop up, a pop up appearance at somebody's job to bring them lunch. Like, and doing a nice gesture for someone here, I see somebody getting their feelings hurt. But I feel like this is a blessing in disguise because your ancestors, baby, got their hands all in the pudding. I don't know who this is for, but before we get some advice, magic. When I say magic, for some of you all, this could be very triggering. But I feel like for some of you all, you are shamans. You are voodoo priestesses and voodoo priests. It runs naturally in your damn, like, I'm hearing royal DNA. Like, you, it runs naturally within your genetics. And I feel like you have really been fighting yourself going back and forth because of your Christian beliefs or your, your Catholic beliefs is what I'm hearing. But I feel like some of you all are really needing to do research and also really understand that when it comes to any type of magic, because I'm hearing holistic, um, holistic divination as well, or the teaching of this, your intention your intention if you and if your intention is to fuck some shit up fuck somebody world up fuck that shit up and it's from a space of emotional hurt it's from a space of or if someone has been doing this to you i want you to know that that shit will not prosper honey 
it will not prosper. You are divinely covered. But whoever this is for, I feel like you're needing to... You can't expect for other people to understand where you're coming from when it comes to that shift as far as your consciousness when you come to this awareness of who you are other people are not going to agree with your path anymore but i feel like for some of you all this could be like projections from family members you sharing your ideas and people telling you oh you want to do that that's devil work baby that's witchcraft read tell the motherfuckers read a book they got some google audibles and shit that's free shit we in the united states ain't owned our internet in so motherfucking long you don't even got to pay for some free shit it's just the time, it's the, it's the fact that you take the time to do this and research this or there's a need to in the month of December. But I feel like whatever it is that you start now in December, you're going to really see a major influx. If you already have a business, there's a need for you to expand your business, expand your products. For some of you all, this could be what you're doing in the month of December. And pulling your energy back when it comes to overly investing in other people who are fucking unappreciative. And only see you as just that. Someone who invests in them or an investment. You get what I'm saying? They see you as a bag, not a loving, unconditional, sovereign fucking being, okay? Advice, turning inwardly, going, going within, cutting outside the motherfucking outside shadow, making a decision for you that is in alignment with your truth, with your growth, with this ascended consciousness, honey, okay? Especially when it comes to some type of partnership is what I'm hearing. For some of you all, this have to do with you fucking choosing to leave this damn job. You do, you're releasing a burden. I feel like for some of you all, I am hearing bullying at work. Some of you all, I don't know who this is for, but record them. Record them. I feel like some of you guys are going to come up on a conversation or something's accidentally sent to you to give you the proof that you need in order to move forward when it comes to some type of civil action. This could even be, watch how you respond to text messages, okay? When it comes, especially if you're going through a divorce with somebody, somebody's trying to use you against you, okay? I'm also picking yeah, up. Somebody's trying to use you against you. I'm picking up on you being aware of somebody being condescending. You being aware of somebody being two-faced. You intuitively know this, but Spirit is forcing you to see in this season. And don't see it as a burden. See it as a blessing, baby. Because again, big-ass motherfucking cups, big-ass coins, and whatever it is. Whatever it is, okay? Where, my, where, where that shit at? Where's that? Whatever it is that, that, that you're being enlightened, okay, of when it comes to something that you've been urged to walk away from. Some of you all are understanding why you had to, why a situation ended. Some of y'all also I'm here seeing, seeing something on social media. But I feel like whatever it is that you're pouring your attention, your time, that you're pouring this into, baby. The boss up is fucking real, boo. The boss up is real. There is a need for you to accept that you're a boss, not a motherfucking employee. God did not wake you up to be mediocre. Act accordingly, Capricorn, in the month of December. Because I damn sure will see if you act accordingly. <laughs> big ass cups and big ass coins, baby, baby, baby. You understand me? So get to it. What are we waiting for? Get to it. All right? You guys, this is what I have for you guys for the month of late November into December. I love you long time. Sending you all peace, blessings, and an overflow of abundance and happiness. You guys deserve it. And I will see you guys in the latter half of December with some cool, fresh...